Well, firstly, the, the firefighters arrived in, in Edmonton, that's on Monday morning South African time. 22 hour flight was quite a long flight. Uh, I think on arrival they were quite overwhelmed by the welcoming they received from the local people. But what was even more special was that uh, the residents of uh, Fort McMurray, those residents who had to evacuate their home some weeks ago, they were also at the airport uh, to welcome them. And I think as true South Africans as what we do, we, we ended up in a song and dance. And that has uh, been in the international headlines. So certainly I think uh, it's important for them to feel welcome in, in Canada. Uh, yesterday, which was Tuesday, they had a rest day as well as a proper debrief uh, and also doing a proper equipment check. Uh, just remember that uh, these firefighters, uh, 300 uh, and one including management, uh, these firefighters underwent extensive training in April on the type of conditions I would expect in, in Canada, but also in the use of the Canadian uh, equipment like the water pumps that they use and the hoses that they pull. So our firefighters did that uh, yesterday. They also did some physical exercises um, to get uh, you know, rid of the jet lag. And then yesterday afternoon, uh, the Canadian uh, Deputy Minister of Agriculture and Forestry uh, see met with the firefighters and, and properly brief them. Um, but today, uh, Wednesday, they're still sleeping now, um, is an important day for this mission because today the firefighters are traveling to Fort McMurray. Uh, that's the town that uh, had the, the brunt of what they call the beast. They call the fire there the beast, the brunt of it, having had to evacuate thousands of people. So it's an important day today because the firefighters uh, travel to Fort McMurray. At the same time, 60 to 80,000 residents are also returning to the town. So I think the firefighters made it known yesterday that for them it's a symbolic because they understand and they have empathy with the people of Fort McMurray that had to evacuate, evacuate their homes. And they certainly happy to be there from South Africa and, and, and to be able to be of assistance to them. So they will be flying into Fort McMurray during the course of uh, this morning, uh, largely due to the fact that uh, the roads will be congested as a lot of people are returning uh, to the town of Fort McMurray. Uh, they will be setting up a base camp just outside uh, the town of uh, Fort McMurray. And if all goes according to plan, they will become fully operational uh, tomorrow. That's now Thursday, uh, South Africa time. But certainly uh, one, of, you know, one of the biggest news stories um, that our country has ever experienced. And I think we're proud of the fact that uh, we have these young men and women over there that are representing, not only working on fire, but representing our country. But most importantly also, and I think this is a point that, that we want to make over and over again, these are not young men and women that we've taken off the streets. They are fully trained, professionally competent Falcon Forest firefighters. All of them have undergone basic and advanced uh, uh, Falcon Forest firefighting training. They have also been trained by Canadian fire authorities when you have this kind of interagency agreement with the Canadians and particularly with the North Americans and then specifically with Canada, there are specific requirements that your firefighters not only need to be fit and competent, but our training needs to be at the same level as their felt and forest firefighters. If that was not the case, they would not have accepted or they would have not have asked us to send 300 firefighters. So I just want to make that point quite clear that our firefighters are up there with the best in the world and, and these reports were very clear in July last year when we were in Canada. So certainly an important day today I think as our firefighters are, are, are leaving Edmonton where they spend the last 48 hours.